Hello again. Good evening. Hey everyone. Maybe not. Welcome again. to the replay for all of you joining us. Replay. And we are so excited. So if you don't know who we are, my name is Ken. This is Sean. We are Ken's Creations Chalk Couture, and we are here for another beautiful Chalk Couture project. Yes. And if you don't know what Chalk Couture is, let me tell you, you are missing out. Chalk Couture is a high-end DIY home decor company that gives you the ability to take boring to beautiful in seconds. It's a easy process. Literally, it's paste, peel, and reveal. And we like to share that journey with you. Now, you can experience Chalk Couture many different ways, but no matter how you experience it, we would love to be your designer. Whether you're going to shop with us, if you want to join our Club Couture, or if you want to join our team as a designer. Now, currently, right now, the first, and of course, probably the number one way people uh, experience it is they shop our site. And you know you are on our site by going to our link, which is chalkcouture forward slash Ken's Creations. And that's us, isn't it, Shawnee? That is us. That's us. And you'll know you're on our website because you'll see my name in the upper right hand corner, my photo, it'll say Ken's Look Creations. That beautiful face. And if it doesn't, all you have to do is hit change designer. Just like that, you are good to go. So that way you know you're on the right website. Now, I know a lot of you are like, Ken, I've been on your website. I'm addicted. I want to join. And I always say, why pay full price when you don't have to? So I want to introduce you to the second way to create with Chalk Couture, and that's with our Club Couture program. Club Couture gives you a B-size chalk transfer and three pay singles every single month for $19.99. This month, our club members got this beautiful transfer called Seasons Greetings. How cute is that? But you also get some amazing benefits by being a Club Couture member, including $4.95 shipping for U.S. customers and $9.95 for Canadian customers. Plus, as your designers, we give you some exclusive perks that you just can't get anywhere else, including access to our Facebook and YouTube community. You will also get happy mail from us every single quarter, just saying thank you. And we do our own promotions that start tomorrow. We have 10 days of Black Friday starting tomorrow for our Club Couture members. So if you are a Club Couture member, make sure you are checking your email tomorrow for our first day of Black Friday. Plus, Chalk Couture is having their own Black Friday sales. Cannot wait for that. So if you are a club member, thank you so much. We truly appreciate you. If you're interested in becoming a Club Couture member, make sure to reach out to us. Now, the last way to experience Chalk Couture is by joining as a designer. And a lot of times I'll tell people, hey, maybe do Club Couture first and then become a designer if you like it. But with this month's promotion, it truly is a great time to join Chalk Couture and make money beautifully. Now, people join because they either want to sell the product or they want to make pretty things and sell that or build a team. But it all starts with a starter kit. And you get this beautiful starter kit for $99, which means right from the beginning, you've already earned $149 in free product because it's $250 worth of supplies. But that's not where it ends. As designers, we have a thing called designer debut, which is a fancy term for saying, you're a new designer. We know you're going to be shopping, so we want to reward you double for doing that. So if you achieve certain milestones in your first three full months, you earn designer dollars. And when you earn designer dollars, you can earn up to 240 in designer dollars. But Chalk Couture doubles it and gives you another 240. So we're at 480 plus 150. We're at 580. We're at 630 in free product. But there is one more and we very rarely as a company do this. And this is called the spree for free. If you have ever thought about becoming a designer, now is the month because you will be joining in November. And if you hit a certain goal by the end of December, you're going to earn an additional 60 designer dollars. I'm pretty sure mm -hmm. that's right. Mm -hmm. Which brings us up to like almost $700 in free products. It's crazy. And here's what's cool. We have a 
promotion coming out soon of maybe some new transfers and a new catalog coming out in January. And as a new designer, you have earned free product that you can buy with all free product. Stuff, yeah. It's all new stuff. So why wouldn't you want to do that? So if you have questions on um, becoming a designer, a club couture member, just let us know. One last little thing. If you are a fan of our artwork, Sean, what, what should they be doing Sunday? Sunday is joining us here, right here, right here at this channel. And on 12 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, until we're all out, all the stuff that we have made. Yes. We keep it all. I love it. So we have a ton of stuff to auction. Part of the proceeds will be going to our favorite charity, Watts of Love. For those of you guys who know, we went to Africa, changed us, love it. Yep. And we still love to give back to Watts of Love. Um, so part of the proceeds, and I say part of the proceeds because I'm very transparent and let you know that we do pay for the surface. So whatever the surface prices is where we start the bidding. And then um, we do pay that back, but then the rest goes to Watts of Love. Mm -hmm. And... For that we're grateful so thank you all right we are gonna get started on tonight's project and we are gonna be doing something fun with this this is our board and base it's been refreshed and you can see here here's the board and base you can do it horizontal but we're not even using that part what no no we are going to watercolor with this transfer on a piece of acrylic. Nice. So I'm going to put it right here because it's hard to see on our uh, light uh, wood here. So we are going to chalk on here. Now, here's the big deal. First thing we're going to do is chalk in black because obviously this. And I have my acrylic to where it will fit in this board and base. How cute is that? And we're going to then watercolor with it. So okay. what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Keep grab it. um it's my self-healing cutting mat over oh it's right here. Just wanna have that ready. Have it ready. Um the first thing we need to do is chalk on. This is the nativity window scene and very cute transfer, but it's going on acrylic. So what do we have to do, Sean? We have to make sure we do something here on acrylic. Yeah, we definitely have to fuzz it. This is basically glass. Or a mirror. Or mm -hmm. It's completely non-porous, so a sticky transfer on a non-porous material is not fun at all. You could accidentally tear it. You could stretch it. You could curl it, but you fuzz it really well, and that kind of goes down a lot. And that's what you, you will cry do. because you I cry. ruined a transfer. The first time I did a project on glass, I thought I fuzzed it real good, and I didn't. I didn't listen to Sean. I did not fuzz it very well. And when I lifted it up, I didn't go straight up. I went towards me and my transfer went and looked yeah. like a curly ribbon. Yep. It was very sad, Sean. It was very sad. Jello, Jello shots tonight. Uh, they were out. They're out. Completely so out. Sean bought me pop and now I'm just straight on to vodka peeps. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> when Costco's out of Jello shots and it takes a long time for Jello to settle, you just... Um, we got a gift set of absolute different flavor of vodka, and so I'm trying that. Or wine, your choice. Your wine. Who knows? I love wine, but I usually like wine when I'm. Yeah. I don't want to drink peach. wine. You have Crown Royal Peach that you had I have last Crown night, Royal and you love Peach it. with a, a diet. I, I wanted Coke Zero, but our store was out. We're of gonna Coke go Zero. there today because they also Maybe have they salted have chips that are so oh, good. The salted caramel. So, yeah, Lay's has a new salted. I don't. I debate throwing a salted caramel so potato chip. I thought, no, that this is not gonna be good. Jasmine said, no, no. Even you said, I don't know. Yeah. So Holy good. how they're good. They're they limited. They're limited. So, get them, get them so out. good. Okay, so we have our acrylic, and I hope you can see it a little better. Um, but it's still, I want to make sure it lines up really good, and it's kind of hard to see. So my little trick is that. if you have a um, uh, an LED light pad or bright pad or anything, even your phone's camera... Anything to illuminate underneath of it, it's going to make your life so much easier. And how you say, well, let me show you. So first of all, we got to plug this bad boy in. Or girl. That's sexist. Could be a bad girl. We don't know. Okay. So you can see without it, I mean, we could probably get a good idea, but it's a little hard. So if we turn this on, put it on here, you're going to now see your surface underneath of it. You see that outline 
It's a little different on acrylic, but it's still there. It's there. Yeah, the camera's not gonna pick this up, but your naked eye can. So, now you can almost see it there. Can they see it? Yeah, you can actually see okay. it, especially at top. Yeah, at the top. So I'm can... just gonna show you how sticky this is. I haven't even put it down, and it's still pretty, it's sticking. My husband is a vendor of Frito-Lay. Oh, Barbie, you are so lucky. Because you can get those yeah, Frito-Lay. She says I need him to bring them home. Hello, Let's ladies. see. Do I like this? It looks pretty good. And then I'm going to just do a quick check because I want it to go in here, but I don't want it to be too low. I, well, let me rephrase that. I want it to be a little higher than that because I want to just barely... Well, maybe that is I good. I think that's perfect. You it just, is perfect. Yeah, perfect. Brilliant! Brilliant! All right. So, let's grab my black. B -b 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 -black. And B -b -b -black. this is the only part we are going to actually chalk with, like, a squeegee. The rest of it we are going to paint. Cannot wait. So, we are looking for a consistency of, we like to say cake batter because I love cake batter ice cream. It's my El Favorito. Um, so if you're not at a good consistency, all you have to do is add some distilled water. And yes, we do recommend distilled because why? Because it has nothing in it. It's just nothing. Water. Well, you know, nothing. So it nothing. keeps it, it keeps it from uh, possibly molding because uh, tap water ha may have ickies in it. Um, so that's why they always say it. just use distilled water. And that's even for your iron. Mm -hmm. It's for this. Sean buys it like it's going out of style. All right, so we are going to chucky chucky, chucky chucky, happy happy. So we're just gonna put down a layer here, and I didn't even see if there was any bubbles. So hopefully we're gonna pray that there wasn't any because it's too late to change my mind. It's too late, hey. Sean, it's too late. Too late. Okay, and I am what is called a heavy hander chalker. What does that mean, Shani? You like to push hard. Yes, I do. Screen, you literally push so it, and you really you don't get, have to. You will get what is called, what Sean likes to call harsh lines. And black and white, uh, these will very much be seen. So you want to make sure you kind of go over them. I do have a bubble down here I'm a little concerned about, but we're going to have good thoughts. Now, this is going to be pretty sticky, so I am going to... Hold it down on the top, and as Sean said before, straight up. Straight up towards the ceiling. Why straight up? This way it keeps it from curling when you get to the end. Be careful, don't, uh, uh, don't touch the base. There we go, yay! Yeah. So he's, I'm gonna go wash this. And I'm gonna dry this. You wanna show washing him, washy? Yeah, let me show him washing. There you go, he's gonna wash this using just some uh, lukewarm uh, water and a board eraser, nice and uh, wet when you do it. Okay, you won't hear me anymore. one side flipped it over and is now washing the other side you must do this because sometimes even though you're washing one side and you think because it's a screen it's going to clean both sides it does not some of that stuff goes down and kind of curls over and stays just on the outer edge it's funny when you don't do it you look it up and it's like wow that's thought it was clean but it's not so you definitely have to do both sides when you do that uh, the sides of this a piece of acrylic is from top to bottom it is 11 inches. Width is... Is that right? 8. Yes, it is. So 11 by 8 for all my Canadians. It is... Do you want to go to something else besides this? 280 shirt? top. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. 280 by... <laughs> Mm 
203 millimeters. Okay, so what we are going to do now, excuse me, little girl, little girl, is I'm going to grab a fuzzing cloth and you want to make sure this is dry because we are actually going to turn this around and put it face down. So you want to make sure the towel you're using, wherever you're putting this, it's not wet or anything because you want to do face down. Very important. Why is that important, Mr. Sean? What was the question? Sorry, I was Why are we girl. doing this face down? Because this way, it'll give you the stained glass look. And this way, if you go past it, you're not going to go into the black itself. You, get to, mm -hmm. you can actually fix it. Yes. It's very so, cool this way. I'm going to put it right over here. And we're going to start. The colors we're using is Bumblebee, Lakeshore, Colonial Blue, and Gold. And so I am going to start with the Bumblebee. And... Gonna grab this. These are our color trays. And we're gonna watercolor with this. Yeah. So watercoloring, uh, you're looking for just a little bit of a thinner consistency. And remember, anything that you don't use, we can put right back into the jar, because it's just water. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of water. We're gonna stir this until we get to the right consistency. Now, it depends on what kind of watercolor look you're going for. What's great about our colors, is Chocotour has really given us kind of a, a good three color tone usually in each color family, like blues and yellow. So you can even do some uh, beautiful blending and shading and stuff. What do you think? Do you think a little thinner or do you think that's good? Maybe just a hair thinner. Thank you, Marianne. All right, so let's grab our first paintbrush and we are doing the bottom part here. So let's grab, and I'm just gonna pick up my yellow and now we can just paint on the back side. And the reason for this again is so this way, number one, you don't want your uh, your chalk to hit that blank and reactivate it. And then if we go a little bit into the black here, we're not worried about the contamination because it will be hidden. And we can add layers to this and stuff. So if we want a more solid look or we can go with this nice kind of um, look that's more kind of traditional stained glass. And I love this transfer because they even like gave us little notches in where in a church normally you would see this. It would have those kind of because it's a, usually a wrought iron, isn't it? Uh, it stained glass is used uh, with leaded material. And so after time, it sometimes will have little holes or break down. So they've even given us that. So I'm going to just kind of move this around to make sure I'm getting everywhere I want it to get. And before I dry it, we'll just kind of, so you can kind of see the idea. So this way we can kind of see, oh, did we miss a little spot, which we did just a little up here. And then I'm going to dry this and add another coat. So give me one sec here. Mm -hmm. And the nice thing is if you don't have a piece of, uh, if you can't get a piece of uh, acrylic cut or anything, you could do this on a piece of glass. 
Oh yeah, just go just, grab a shadow box at Joanne's yeah. or something. Yeah, shadow box. Do that. And what's cool about a shadow box is you can also put a light in the box and mm -hmm. give it a illumination behind it. Illumination. Um, but yeah, you could do all sorts of stuff. I just have the way to do the acrylic, and so why not? So I'm just adding a second layer. This is all based on what kind of look you're going for. If you want more of a transparent see-through, you can add the more or less. I want a little bit more solid, but then still I kind of want a little bit of those brush marks to show. I love Bumblebee. It's such a pretty color. Yeah, it is pretty. So bright and... Our yellow, uh, the beginning yellow was nice, but once they came out with this one, it's like, wow, this is much prettier. This was close. In the very beginning, we had something called school bus yellow. School bus. Yeah, it had kind of a... And it was more of a school bus. Yeah. And I loved it, but then Bumblebee came out and I was like, oh. I hate, I hate to use the word dirty, a dirty yellow, but... Yeah. And I'm probably hitting areas where it's black, but I'm just having fun painting. All right. So, just going to add a little here. What do you think, Mr. Shawnee? Let's see. Should we look at, lift it up and look at yeah. it? Yeah. Do it. Do the honors. So you're gonna look at it first. The, my angle is that. Ooh, I am. Um, I need to get yeah. more on that side. Good I job. Think because it's quarter inch thick, is that you almost have to go just a hair beyond where you thought. Ooh, marigold. That was that was a pretty yellow too. Ooh, I forgot about marigold. Oh, it's so fun to go down memory lane. Sorry mm -hmm. about my head being in the way, but I'm just. Right. I've got the other camera looking down at it. So what we're doing is we're just flipping it over so you guys can see, did I miss any spots? Does it look good? Mm -hmm. Sean, what do you think? Still a little bit on Mary's side? There's just a, 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 a dab right up here. Okay, I'm on it. Just a dab. A dollop, a dollop of. Daisy. And I guess even in some churches they will not be perfect stained glass windows mm -hmm. they kind of all right let's do a looky looky what do you think what does everyone think right, let me do this oh oh that looks good yeah that looks really good yeah did i miss any areas or we're good we're good now you're good okay we're gonna put it back down. We're gonna get rid of our paintbrush. I'm gonna grab a multi-tool and all of this gets saved and put right back into the jar. Nice. So none of that's getting wasted. Oh, my favorite sour cream brand. Yeah, that's pretty much the only one I buy too is Daisy. If I go to TJ, uh, or TJ, uh, Trader Joe's, I'll, I'll buy there. Theirs is pretty good. So the next color we're going to use is, do I want to do the light on the inside or the light on the outside? If there's a star, wouldn't this be lighter and this would be darker, right? Because it would go out that way, right? Is yeah. that what they're doing? That's what I think you should do. Yeah. The right? Light, light should be in the middle. Lighter. Right? Okay. So this is definitely needs just a little bit of water, not a ton. This oh. is one of my favorite colors. This is the new... Um, Lake Shore. Um, Alan says that years ago I used to paint on mirrors and two sided two sides of glass with model plane enamel paints and a calligraphy pen. Very time consuming, Ooh. but a neat effect. Well, I bet you that would be. Beth, uh, years ago, we our nearest TJ was Seattle. <laughs> we would have to go. Oh, Trader Joe's. Trader like Joe's. TJ Maxx. No, what? Trader Joe's. Yeah, it's like at least we're closer than Seattle. You can still come into come in and to TJ's from Sandpoint, which is a lot better than doing a Seattle run. Oh, there you go, Heidi. Now, of course, we're just kind of following along with something that was done before, but come with your own colors. Obviously, you can do whatever you want. 
Somebody said that that our raspberry sorbet would look very pretty. Oh, nice. that would look gorgeous. We're gonna do a shimmer gold, I believe you said. I think so. Yeah. I think that's the color I want to do. Nice. So I'm gonna grab a paintbrush. Let's bring this back in, and I think you're gonna do all of this area, and then a darker blue on the outside. So once again, the only thing you want to pay attention on this is my yellow is still drying. So if you do not want a green, just be very careful when you get to that yellow. Um, yeah, you could do all sorts of different colors. I mean, literally not being corny, but the sky is the limit on this because the sky can be all sorts of colors during the mm -hmm. morning and If you do this on glass, folks, you can use the the inks. At first, I thought it said Lynx Heidi. I'm going Lynx. What? Oh, inks. Take the L out. You can do it. And then bake it. And yes, you can. Absolutely. Oh, yes, you can. Put it in a cold. Put the once you're done. Put it in a cold oven. Set for 350, about 30 minutes, and then just let it cool on itself until you can touch it when it's cold, and you're all good. Miss Mayor is asking, are you doing the middle of the star yellow? No, I'll be doing, I think, sh I think I'm doing shimmer. I haven't made up my mind yet. Shimmer gold, I think. Shimmer, shimmer. Because it's so quiet without our music anymore. I can fix that. You just get uncomfortable because no one's talking. And no one's Sean talking because you always talk, talk, talk about you. Sean, I'm in the zone, man. When I'm painting, this is my happy zone. I was so yes. excited to do this piece. But uh, Sean gets uncomfortable. If you ever notice, if I leave Sean on camera, he'll be like, okay, so what questions do we have? And if there's no questions, he's like, so uh, uh, today was, uh, you know, it was cold. And he gets so uncomfortable. He feels like there has to be sound. Denise asks, oh yes, it must be, you should be, make sure your glass is heat safe. Like don't use cheapy, cheap, thin glass. Find a good piece of glass. Um, Denise asks, have you ever tried using a sponge to put the paste on? I have. Yes. Yeah, That's good. how we did a uh, Stitch and Mike and Soli, mm -hmm. um, those are gone, but we did those using basically a sponge and you get this really cool texture look. Beth asks, do you have to worry about the paste drying doing this method? Um, if it does, you just are basically layering it on top of each other. Uh, but really, ultimately, at the end of the day, uh, you want it to dry. I'm going to be like right now, I'm going to dry this and then add another layer. So I'm going to mute us. So you can kind of see where, by painting it, I have areas that I have to hit again. Mm -hmm. So Candace says you would not have to wax on glass on a glass surface. No, you would never have to really do that. Who Pam says maybe star uh, the star could be shimmer frost. Ooh, I like that idea. Maybe I think I have shimmer frost. Forty years ago, we in Girl Scouts we used glass foil, I think is what you were trying to say, and colored sharpies to make a Santa, and it's still on my wall today. Cool. Well, that's fun. I like the I like to hear that. Things that kind of make you go. That would be awesome. 
Well, and that's a, that's not just a decoration. That's a memory. Yeah. And that's what I love. Like some of my favorite decorations are tied to my mom and mm -hmm. stuff she made. Oh, yeah. And I try remaking like we made ghosts this year for Halloween. Just because when it's tied to a memory, like you have a story. And that's what, to me, like putting up decorations, like I tell Jazzy, like, oh, here's the story on this. Or this is the story on this. And this is where we got this. And she's like, it's so cool putting up decorations with you because you like have this whole story. And I'm like, that's what it's all about is, yes, it's fun to decorate, but it's super fun to decorate with loved ones. Because especially like your kiddos, like, when did you give me this ornament? Or why did you get this? Or this is our first ornament we bought as, you know, a family or come up with your own traditions. It's super fun. All right, let's flip it over and see where I need to hit it. Okay. Definitely need to come down through here. Yep. Okay. So couple, a word of advice when you're drying this, do not go on the high setting because it will make your pace kind of move. <laughs> All right, Sean, where do I need to hit, you said? Um, Up there, right? It was somewhere along here. I believe I would have to almost look at it again, but. You're right, you're sorry. It's all about the memories, so true. Charlotte states, whoops. Yep, my sock monkeys that my mom made oh, yes. uh, made me, watches me chalk, which me which means so much more now that my mom has passed. Oh, I have some mangy looking decorations <laughs> that our dogs got hold of and uh, we have these candy canes all over my tree that my mom had on her tree that Sean's always like these things. Like, there's only a few left because our dogs have, you know, had fun with those, but they still mean the world. Then she also made some snowmen and a Mrs. and Mr. Santa Claus out of soup cans and... Now, I'm putting this on pretty thick. You don't have to. Um, but I want it to where it almost, I mean, it looks like a stained glass, but it's definitely not transparent and solid. So, okay, so I need oh, to get up oh, here. Sorry. Oh, you're fine. Oops, wrong one. So I find it easier when you're painting to get into some of these areas to um, move it around instead of you trying to get in weird angles. And the nice thing is, is we're going to be doing blue against this, a darker blue. So even if it carries over into the next screen, it would be okay. Or the screen, geez. The next <laughs> section, it will be okay. It will be a nice, like, almost uh, natural blend. I wonder how Shimmer Harvest would look. Ooh, that's another good idea. Mind. You guys are coming up with all sorts of good ideas today. Hey. 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 All right, Shani Badani. Oh, that's awesome. Let's yeah, show them. Hold on. So we might need to do some areas once they... Oh, no, it looks good. Yeah. In person, you can see the brush marks a little more. It looks solid there. Yeah. 
Um, but we can always go back if you don't want the brush marks and let this dry and do its thing. So I think we're good though, don't you? I think so. For now, I might add a second layer later on, but let's go ahead and save the piece I do have. And then we're going to move on to, uh, this was Lake Shore, so next will be Colonial, which is a little bit of a darker blue. Grab our tray. Ooh, oof, oof. <laughs> oof. Nancy, welcome back. Hope you're like Look at this. Home. Holy moly. I might need to add some water to that. Holy moly. It's been in the drawer for a little while. And it's such a pretty blue too. It makes sense. I haven't used it in a while. We didn't have a lot of money growing up so we would make ornaments. We didn't know we were poorer than others. I have ornaments my mom made out of like walnuts. They're like a little bear and stuff and... All right, so I'm gonna show you guys Is my gray bowl in there? Yes, it's right over here. You oh. have it on top of the stuff here. Excuse me, little girl. I know you're trying to sneaky sneaky. No sneaking in. I see you. All right. So this is some pretty dried out paste. So I'm going to put it in a bowl like so and add more water to it and then kind of stir it around and get it so I don't splishy splashy everywhere. Nice thing about our paste is it's non-toxic, so if it gets on your hands, doesn't matter, won't hurt ya. Sean, can you um, spray some water in there? Oh, absolutely. And tell what you're doing, just so, so you can So what hands. we're doing here, we're adding some water since we took it all out of this. And then we're gonna use our little wisp, wick, whip. Just whipping. be careful with that stained glass right there. And we're just gonna kinda push down on it, which is what he'll do. Once we get it all mashed down, and then we'll do a good stir with it, and then it starts uh, getting softer and softer. This is just a quicker way to incorporate the water into it. Now, grant you, we're gonna be painting with this, so we'll go in a tray anyways. See, Nancy said she did this by using a glass picture frame. See, perfect. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> what? I'm sorry. Ellen was trying to. Uh, Ellen was talking about the difference between transparent and translucent, and then she says, "Ask uh, Rudy G, Rudy Giuliani, about oh. opaque or opacity." Why, what did he say? I don't know, it must have been something he said. Probably wrong. <laughs> All right, so now we can add water into the tray. Uh, Tammy, we're going to answer your question. We used the black that's on the front part of this is, is done in uh, black velvet paste as well. This transfer would look so pretty etched. It would. Oh, um, I've seen a lot of people. Um, I went back and forth. What did I want to do with this transfer? Uh, cause so many people are using etching cream with it and it, mm -hmm. it's simply stunning. 
Yeah, this is so pretty as an etched one. Yeah, Heidi's been using a lot of etching cream, uh, cream with the transfers. She says it's been turning out really nice. And this one is like a perfect transfer for etching cream because it's kind of that simple yet elegant. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> GR says you need the badger tool. I know. Yeah. I, I'll be honest with you guys, I hate the fact that I need a tool at all. Yeah. This is a sore spot with me and something I'm being pretty vocal about, saying we need to get our pace back to where we want it. Um, because our pace should never uh, do this. Um, and our leadership team has even made it vocal to the point of our pace should never do this. Yeah. But as you can see, it's still usable. It's just a little, a little chunky, chunky. But in this method, because I'm going for that stained glass look and kind of painting with it, I'm not as worried. Um, and on transfers, it's not a big deal at all because your squeegee is going to squish it out anyways. But once again, it's a quality thing for me. Mm. So for those who are wanting to know what the Badger tool is, you can actually just go to Amazon and put in Badger tool or Badger mixer. It's a little handheld mixer. I it's, do need it. It's yeah. um, it's almost like a, a coffee frother, but um, with a lot more power. And instead of, uh, it's thin round metal, but it's got little waves in it. So it'll cause as you're mixing for the product you're using to go up and down a little bit and mix. But be sure, and I've heard this so many times, do not have it on as you're pulling it out because it'll Whoosh. get all over the place. Whoosh. So stop, pull it out, tap, stop. tap, tap. Collaborate. Yeah, right and do you know you, we're no longer picture in picture. We are in like an infinity we're, zoom of forever. We're seeing an overhead and a forward forward look. Oh my gosh, it's like- People we, like this, they said these- Well, I, I'm not seeing anything bad. I just looked up and I usually see us and I saw, I thought I was in a parallel universe. I was like, what's going on, people? So Ellen said, in court, he didn't know what it meant. How did he pass the bar without an eighth grade vocabulary? <laughs> he said, I didn't even know Mayor Giuliani was a, a lawyer. Yeah, well, he did, well, before all this time when he became, he became a what would, um, state attorney and all that stuff and did a lot of stuff with uh, getting all the uh, bad guys. We saw it on that, um, Documentary. He Remember did. the one with all the all the the mob and stuff that we were watching. Mm. Oh, was that the Lotto scam one or not, the not Monopoly one. one or no? No, this one was just about how the mob became the mob in New York throughout the years. Oh yeah yeah yeah. And yeah, then yeah. he was the state he yes. was the state attorney that put them all away. Which by that point, which is why he made mayor because he did so well. And then he was mayor during 9-11. Yes, he was. That's how everyone got really to know his name because he was always in those pet press conferences. Yeah. You guys, I there is something about painting. I, It's almost like adult color books. You know, not adult, but like, you know, coloring for adults, mm -hmm. not adult images. Right. I mean, you could color that. Sure. You don't need a lot of colors. Just, well, I guess you could do if you want to get all ethnicities because... And then it's all colors in the rainbow. Okay, so let me hit a little few more spots. We'll dry and then I'll add a couple more layers. And then have we de decided? I do. I think I'm going to go with frost for the star in the middle. I think you might be right. I like that idea, whosever idea that was. I don't know whose idea that was, but I like it. Okay, so let me dry this and then we'll flip it over and then I will see if I need to do more layers.
So, funny story. I'm reading your comments, and I have to share that. I think I've shared it before here, but um, when I was probably six, no, maybe 15, I went to, we used to have uh, uh, Thanksgiving at my Aunt Edie's house, and we'd always play Trivial Pursuit afterwards. And I got the card, and I'm like reading it, and I'm like, ooh, I don't know what this is. I'm trying to send it out. Hooked on phonics work for me. And I literally said, in what land or in what, what country, country do, and then I said, Oregutons dwell or live. And my family looked at me and said, what? And I said, what country do Oregutons live in? And everyone's like, what the hell is an Oregouton? And I was like, I don't know, that's what the card said. And my mom's like, are you sure? And I'm like, yeah, sound it out, or Gutan. And my mom grabs the card and she goes, Kenny, that says orangutan. And I go, what? And she goes, why did you think that said or Gutan? I'm like, if you sound it out, it says or Gutan. Yeah, you are correct. And she's like, correct, but it is orangutan. And I said, well, hooked on phonics didn't work for me then because I'm sounding it out. And it says Oregutan. Yep. So I'm not saying I feel his pain, but in a way I'm like, mm. so And I've never lived it down, Sean. I know. To this day, people they are still, like, hey. They still say things. My family still is like, hey, Kenny, there's an Oregutan. I'm like, I get it. Ha uh ha. -huh. Uh -huh. Have you guys watched Jangles Jingles on yet? On no, Netflix? we have right. it on our list saved, though, and I heard yep. it's good. Yeah. And the Christmas Chronicle 2 can't is coming out. Yeah, can't wait for that one. That'll be good. And that one, this time it has more of Goldie Hawn in it because they're real, her and Kurt, Kurt Russell are like, like a legit, real deal. The first one was so good. All right, let me looky looky, Shawnee. What do you think? That looks, look at that. That looks so good. So good. Okay, so I might add more layers after it dries, but I'm just gonna do frost in the middle, and then if I add more layers later on, I will, but I'm liking it, I'm liking it. Because I can paint all night, you all. Mm -hmm. I love it. Okay, so let's cover this one up, and then I'm gonna grab, I liked whosever idea it was, and I don't remember, so Sean's gonna have to remind me, but whoever recommended the shimmer, and this is pretty thin, so I'm just gonna grab my brush and very gently in the middle here. I grabbed the wrong brush. I should have grabbed more of a, this is I call a dollop brush, but it'll work for now. All right, let me take a peeky peeky. Peeky peeky. <gasps> oh, it needs, I can already see it. It needs a little more, Shawnee Sean. Uh oh, just a little. So excuse my big head. Or a Gouton. That's gonna be like on my head, my grave. <laughs> Here lies Ken. The man who created his own species of monkeys, the Oregutons. <laughs> Listen, sound it out, people. Well, yeah, just look at how it is. Here, hold on. Look at it! I love it! Okay, so I will put it in its little uh, thing, and then I might add a little bit more tomorrow. It depends on if you like more of a stained glass look, or if you like... Oh, that is so cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. So it's up to you if you like that stained glass look or not. If you want more of like the Bumblebee, we definitely got a more solid look. Um, So I might go back or I might leave it. I don't know, but I love that shimmer uh, frost in the middle. That's perfect. Yeah, that does work out nice. That worked out great. So... Um, I'm going to take it out of its little container though, or it's not a container, it's stand so it can dry all the way. 
and then if I want to add some more I will tomorrow or something um, but that's a fun way to um, uh, paint so uh, Brenda brings up a perfect point I love that so much I want to make one for my kids this is something that would be so fun to do for your kids so you could take any of our transfers and do this if you have a piece of acrylic or even on a square acrylic you don't even have to cut it put one of our transfers do it in black and then give them paint brushes turn it over and let them paint kids can play with our paste because it's non-toxic they it won't hurt them so um and it just look at it i mean if it, they don't have to worry about getting in the lines because they're you're flipping it over look at the back <laughs> and again you can yeah do, you could actually use like they were saying you could use uh inks yeah the inks on this yeah. somebody said they want to try alcohol ink Ooh, yeah that would be good too good good yeah. idea all right well we will not see you guys i know this is very sad until our auction so our auction is this sunday i see our beautiful kate is here kate. um so thank you in advance because we have an auction sunday kate so you know what that means lots of boxes but sean will be here to help you um so this sunday on this channel ken's creations chalk couture this Sunday, we start at noon. We are going to go through the entire thing until all pieces have been auctioned off. And um, uh, part of the proceeds will go to Watts of Love. I say part because we do pay back the surface cost. So something like this, like we had the piece of acrylic, it was $6. We would pay that back and then the rest goes to Watts of Love. And we usually tell everyone how much we raised and we make that one big donation. Mm -hmm. um, and then that way you guys can get your hands on it and stuff. So it will be this Sunday, starting at noon, all the way until we are done. I think we have close to 50 pieces. 51! 51! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> We are cat. We are Pacific time. Yes. So it is currently eight twelve here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys for joining us, and we will see you on Sunday. Tomorrow we have lots of editing to do. Black Friday starts, so we are very very busy, um, but thankful. And we yes. are thankful we're this busy, and you guys keep us this busy, and you are amazing amazing crew to have in our life and we love yep. you guys so three three eastern it'll start three eastern 12 three Paci eastern. 12 pacific one cent mountain uh two central three eastern so 12 pacific one mountain two central three eastern yes yeah it's always late east coast for us i know sorry about that yeah. but there's sometimes when people go on the east coast and i'm like why are they going live at two and sean's like well it's five o'clock for them and i'm like Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right, everyone. Thank you so much. Have Bye. a good night.